Yo, my name is Cody A. Banks and today I'll be showing you how I set up my color palette before I start a design in Adobe Illustrator. Alright, so opening up a new file here in Adobe Illustrator, the first thing you're going to need to do is make a few circles over here on the side. So we can go over and grab the ellipse tool or you can hit L on your keyboard for a shortcut and just make a circle over here on the right side. And then what we'll do is option drag that down to about right there and then hit command D three more times and that'll leave us with the five circles that we need for our color palette. So whenever I'm doing a design I always have a white and a black and the black doesn't necessarily have to be an exact black. Sometimes I use a dark purple or a dark blue as the black and that'll also be the color of the outlines on the design as well. So let's start off with the white. We'll click on this top circle and then we'll change the color to not exactly white. We'll bring it this way a little bit so it's sort of an off-white right about there. So for this design, my three main colors are just gonna be yellow, red, and blue. So I'll take this second circle and it can just be any random yellow color. We don't have to worry about it too much yet. We'll make this one red. And we can make this fourth one blue. About there. And for black, Similar to the white, we don't want it to be pitch black. We want it to be a little bit lighter, so like a dark gray, do like that. So now that we have our colors, we can just add the stroke to all five of these circles, and the stroke color will be this black color here. So let's select that, and we can grab the hex code, and then we'll select all five, and then go over to your stroke. And I'm gonna give it a four point stroke and we'll give it that same color as the black. So now all five have the exact same stroke and we can go up here and just make sure everything's on round cap and round join so all the corners will be curved off. All right, so let's just group those together. So then for the next step, we'll just select this group of circles and go up to edit, edit colors, recolor artwork and then we'll hit advanced options. Go down to this tab right here and Illustrator has all these presets already set up for you. So I like to just go through and see which one I think looks the best. A lot of these art history ones are pretty cool but they're kind of dark muted tones which are cool for certain styles but I like my art to be a little bit brighter these days. Pop art is a pretty cool one. Renaissance is a cool one. I like to use this a lot. The one I've been using a lot recently is Fruit. So I like this one a lot because it has the dark purple vibrant outline in the, in the black. So we'll use that one. And now we have our color palette. So let's just make a character real quick and I'll show you how I implement the color palette into the design. So let's just start off with a circle. We'll hit I for eyedropper and we'll just make that circle yellow. So now it has that purple outline, all the stroke settings are already set, and we're good to go. So we'll just go in here and I'll make some eyes real quick. Make that circle right there, and we'll make that white. Draw a little eyelid. Make that yellow. And then we'll do a little pupil right here, so copy and paste this circle from the eye. Bring it down like that and then we'll make this black or purple in this instance and we'll just bring that over a little bit and send that behind the eyelid make it a little bit bigger and then we'll do a few little circles inside the eye make that white and we don't need a stroke on that bring that down shrink it another one right there and let's group this together And for the second eye, we'll just option drag it over to the right, like that. And then we'll just move these up a little bit. Give them a little smile with the pencil tool. That can be yellow. All right, and now let's give them some legs. Just do some rectangles like this. That gives some nice long legs. 
I'll give him a foot pencil tool. It'll loop like that. Command G to group those together and then we'll option drag this. Go up to object, transform, reflect, vertical, and we'll have two legs. Let's group those together. And we'll add a little shadow right here, like that. And we can make that black. Next, let's give him some arms. So let's just draw with the pencil tool like this. Make that yellow. And we'll just add an extra little line right here. Group those together, Command G, send it to back. We'll bring in this piece sign from my vector pack, hand pack volume one. I'll have that link below for you guys. You can purchase that in my shop. But we'll just make this yellow and shrink it down a little bit. Drop it right there and we can just go ahead and double click on the hand and delete this shape. And what we'll do is just give it one of those and get rid of the outline, send that to back. And we can just adjust this line so it's fitting. Let's just group this. Option drag it over here and we'll flip it around, transform, reflect. Now he has two hands. All right, so adding in a little bit more color, we can just give him a little hat. So let's give him a blue hat. We'll add a little oval like this and zoom out so we can grab our blue. Send that to back and then more of a circular shape like this for the cap. Send that to back. Let me shrink it down a little bit. That looks good. Next, we're gonna give them a little fanny pack. So we'll use the pen tool to do a curved line like this. Zoom in there. While you still have the pen tool selected, you can click on this anchor right here and that'll get rid of the handle. So now we have a straight line right here. Again, get rid of that and curve it around sort of like that. Bring it back up this way. And let's just make this red for our third and final color. You can zoom back in, add a few details like this. This just makes it look like it's wrapping around his body. And let's group all those together. All right, and now let's give him a little bag on the front. And we'll make that white, just like that. Cool, and let's just bring this arm up like this and we'll rotate it a little bit and we can rotate the face too so it's kind of like leaning a little bit while we're at it we might as well just give his legs a little bit of a lean fix this up last thing we got to add the ground straight line like that give it a little bit of a background send that to back and we'll just make it white like that and that's it. Nothing too complex or fancy about this method, but it works for me. What's great is you don't have to worry about the settings for your stroke widths. Everything's going to be set up for you because you have it set up here in your color palette. You don't have to go back and find the color each time. All you have to do is use your eyedropper tool to go and click on your color palette. So it's nice and simple. But one more thing, I have a bonus trick for you guys. We'll make a new color palette over here. Let's just option drag this over and we can get rid of these three middle colors. What we can do is just use the yellow and red. So what we do once we have our two primary colors is go up to object, 
blend, blend options. And what we'll do is use specified steps and we're gonna use three steps and that'll give us three new circles in between these two. So we'll hit OK and then what we do is select both, go back up to object, blend and make. So now we have this additional color palette here that's a blend between the yellow and red. So if you wanna add shadows or any additional details, you can use these colors. So right now you'll see that it's all grouped together. So what you need to do is just go up to object and expand, hit okay, and now you're good to go. So now we can just add a little bit of variation to the colors. We can just select the strap like this and then give it this orange color. Just switch it up a little bit. I think I like the red better, so let's just keep it with the red. Let's just slide this hat over a little bit and we'll rotate it as the final touch. And that's it. That's how I set up my color palettes. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.